Hey, this is Duck Avenger, and this is a Retro Game Review with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the game on Sega Genesis. I've been off for a while, but I am back in the Retro Game Reviews, and this is one of the games I played when I was little, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game that was made for the TV show. It kind of covers what happened in the first season very loosely, I think. I don't know if these uh, monsters in here are original or what, but I don't remember them coming up in the show before, but you get to beat up a lot of things, and that's pretty awesome. And and this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song is in this game, and it's pretty cool. Right here, after the theme song on the title screen, you have to press start, which I don't like. I would like a title screen when you can press A. But it shows Rita's beautiful plan to save the beautiful people of Earth and put her under her rule. And no one can stop them, except maybe the Power Rangers. And so here's like a sock footage shot of the Power Rangers from the TV show. And here's all of Rita's minions that she has around her. So you get right into the fighting after this, after it has a little plot. And so this game, it becomes ridiculously hard. No matter what I tried, I could not beat this guy. I tried the Blue Ranger at first because no one likes to pick the Blue Ranger from the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series. I always feel bad for him. So I tried all this. Nope, didn't work or anything. And it ended up with me dying as the Blue Ranger and having a Blue Ranger death from this Minotaur that I don't even remember from the show. I don't think he could have been that important if I don't remember him. But whatever. So nothing I tried worked. You can jump and kick and punch and everything, but nothing helps. And use mainly the three buttons. And then Billy does his like weird thing, like no, and he uh, totally dies. So you see fire behind the Rangers and continue. So I thought maybe the Red Ranger would be more powerful, but no, he ends up the same way. So I thought, maybe there's a difficulty, maybe, you know, I'm not that great at playing this game, so I can find some kind of difficulty to make this game a little more enjoyable. So I would definitely say that's kind of a turn off on this game because it was so hard to start out with, and I had to turn the settings down so that I could even enjoy it. And then when I turned the settings down, it was way too easy, so I couldn't win for losing, but at least Billy won against his Minotaur. So, you have two main attacks, you have a punch and a kick, and you can do low kicks and high kicks like while you're jumping, so that you can attack your enemies from all different angles. This game is pretty awesome, but it is so short. So that'd be the Minotaur right there, and then Rita's pretty mad. I'm sad in this game, Rita doesn't do her trademark headache thing, which it was actually from the Japanese show, and they adapted it to be a headache, and she says that I have a headache. But right here, you have to fight the big monster, and there's a pretty awesome scene where the Megazord comes to be, and you still have power coins, and it's an awesome cutscene of the Megazord. It looks totally awesome Japanese stuff, and his face comes out like it does in the cartoon show. Even though in the car cartoon show, maybe live action show, because it's definitely live action show, not cartoon. I always wanted the Zords to fight by themselves, like maybe the Pterodactyl come and fight or something like that. They always seem to go to the Megazord so fast. And so in the Megazord you could do almost anything like you could do in the, or they could do in the TV show. You can hit him with your sword, and then when he gets up, you totally just smash him with your lightning sword and kill him. Yep, that's a death for <coughs> the Minotaur. And you just move on to the next enemy. And after this, Rita's like, my baby, I'm sad. And so it actually gets into some stuff from the TV show. The Green Ranger is here. I'm so excited. That was one of the best parts of probably all my more from Power Rangers was when the Green Ranger was there. So uh, once again, I'm going with Billy. I don't think all the Rangers are the same. Which is kind of lame. I know there's got to be some kind of special powers, but I can't figure out how to activate their weapons that they have that are special. And I really don't try to read manuals or anything like that. I just try to play a game out of the box to see how it's good, how good it is. And it's okay because I can't figure out the special moves in this game. And so here's uh, something that would uh, happen in the TV show. Billy goes against the Green Ranger one on one. It was already shown that the Green Ranger would destroy Billy in the TV show, but whatever. Billy wins right here because the difficulty is turned down, and the Green Ranger is going to call his Zord, the awesome one, the Dragon Zord, out of the water like Godzilla. It goes do, 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 do. And he calls his Zord out of the water, which is pretty awesome. I like the cutscenes in this game. They're definitely awesome, and definitely awesome for a second Genesis. I don't remember meeting cutscenes in second Genesis, but whatever. And the Dragon Zord comes out of the water to fight 
the McZord and it's awesome battle, but you can just be pretty cheap in this game. Uh, just totally swing your sword so they can't get you. It ha kind of has a ranged weapon, but it really can't penetrate your defenses if you don't have it on the highest level. And so once again, uh, enemy goes down. This game is pretty short, so I will show you every single battle in this game, or at least part of every single battle in this game. So Dragon's Order goes down, and I think it's funny that it gets hit with the big uh, lightning weapon sword because they didn't just want to destroy the Dragon Sword, they wanted it for help. And so Tommy turns good because Jason tells him to and hits him with some magical sword. I forget what happens actually in the show, but whatever. And so this just starts repeating the formula, which this is the most awesome part of the game right here. Tommy's weapon is electrocuting gun, and he can just literally electrocute people over and over again. I know it's a little difficulty, but this is so fun to electrocute person. Also, uh, it kind of lessens to teach people. Tommy, Green Ranger, is electrocuting some woman in a dress that looks to be helpful. Helpless. If you turn it on the lowest difficulty, these enemies look helpless. It just looks like Tommy's a murdering, a, a assaulting person that should be in prison. But whatever. He knocks out that girl in the dress and electrifies her. And then once again, Rita's gonna make her go big. And then after that battle, we have a few more battles. With I said I would show you every battle, but some of them, like uh, the one with Goldar, wasn't so great. So we go to the moon for some reason, I guess, to go find Rita's place, and we find the last boss, and he turns into an extra cool last boss. That's extra powerful, but since the difficulty is so low, he, he doesn't really do much, so whatever. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's a cool fight. It's a pretty fun beat-em-up game, whatever. And after this battle, is really the end of the game. So there was like a total of like seven battles. If you count the uh, battles of the monsters becoming bigger, just one. And so they get all the weapons and fire on Rita right there, and it's the end of the game. So, would I recommend this game? I don't really think I would recommend this game unless you're hardcore about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because there is much more greater games that are fighting games out there. This, the controls of this game were not that responsive. It was very hard because of that fact and the gameplay overall was hard. I had to turn it down, way down, so I could even play it. So I would recommend something else like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, any of those series, instead of this game. I love Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as much as the next guy and the show was super popular and I bought all the toys but you're better off playing something else. Thank you for watching. This has been Duck Avenger and I love you all.